Hello, that's again my friends, and I'm aggravated with you people. Couldn't pick between these two. Really? No comments? Nothing? Sigh. Anyway, we're doing the Hector storyline because nobody did anything. Yes, I'd like to save my progress. And here we begin on Hector's story. Yes. Elliot becomes the main character. Jeez, you're only this tactician. Is it not aware of which storyline we're on? I don't know. But one year later. Once this passed since we came and the Marquise Ferrer's disappearance. Rumors and speculation were rampant through Lucia. And Lord Uther takes up no apparent interest. But his younger brother, considered odd by the rest of them, the best friends in every world. He cannot ignore his friend's plight, so Hector, being the younger brother, Sorry for that interruption, people. Had to go to eat dinner. Back to where I was. Okay. So, as his younger brother, he is courageous general. A steel warrior to be feared. Matthew will choose to test him to the limits of his strength. Which anybody who's played this game knows, his strength is limitless. Theoretically. <laughs> Castle Ostia. Castle Ostrich. Anyway. Brother! Brother? Where is he? What? He's here, isn't he? Lord Hector, call music. No, it's Oswin. Just move! <laughs> Simply put. The, despair, the disappearance of Marquis for it. We've discussed this time and time again. This matter is none of Ostia's affair. No reason to involve ourselves. It would be folly to do so. Edward's father is missing, for goodness sake. Blah! I know Laos is in her after blah, blah, blah. The invasion would be madness. Lysia can feel the what the chaos such action would bring. Bah! I understand all too well, brother. Stay here on your throne. Sit there until it rots beneath you. I will do this alone. And nothing's gonna stop him. Lord Hector, you should watch your tone. Oswin, let him go. It's all a part of the plan. <laughs> and it really is. He has a tiny bit of a plan. Matthew! Matthew! Blast it! Where could he be? Right here, sir. You... You're not a wraith. Stop skulking in the shadows like one. Aw, but it's so much fun! And your beloved axe. Purchase the silence of wild argument, you're free to slip out of the rear and vanish. Well done, Matthew. Try not to let my brother discover my absence too quickly. What? I thought he was going with you. A bigger fool than I'd imagined. Think I would trust my brother's spy? Who knows when you would turn me in for some favor. Aww. Enough. Don't try to follow me. I didn't imagine you'd find me so untrustworthy. Professional hazard, it seems. Watch yourself, dude. Hello? He, he gave up too easily. I don't trust him. You don't trust anybody except Ellie Wood. And apparently Oswin. These bags. What did Matthew put in these bags? It's ridiculous, even if he was packing for two. Huh? <laughs> Mysterious soldier. That guy sneaks better than Matthew. Too dumb to speak of that. <laughs> ha! Whoa, dude, relax, it's me. Matthew, I'm sure you are one of them. Well, I'm not, I'm one of me. <laughs> I prefer to remain in one piece. I love Matthew. Now tell me, what are you doing here? Um, I sensed that something was wrong and came to your aid. My aid? I'll accept that answer for the time being. So, what should we do? About what? The fellows between us and the way out, I say there are about seven or eight of them. To make matter worse, they seem to be highly competent. Yeah, we'll see for that. <laughs> we could abandon the rear entrance. I'm sure the Royal Guards would be happy to aid us in the rear That's what I thought you'd say. All that's left is to avoid getting killed, right? You can go back if you want. Your own words, my lord, never. <laughs> with, 
I'm with you, wherever that may lead. Right, let's give him a good thrash and get out of here. And indeed we shall. SWAT tactics, go! Knock down the door, hand axe him in the face! Hector is beast. That's why we're taking this path. Not only have I never done this particular path, but Hector is beast mode, so... And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what, the double reason why we use hand axe then. So we can get a cheap shot in on that archer. I've, wondered, I've often pondered if I could actually pull off doing a solo with Hector in this game, but I doubt it. And one thing I know for sure, there's no way you could solo with Ellie Wood. I mean, I don't care how many people talk him up, there's no way. I, I cannot foresee any possible moment with which you could solo an entire game with Ellie Wood. Anybody disagrees, start an LP of Ellie Wood's path with whoever you have for land, and prove to me you can solo the game as Ellie Wood. Because I, I, I doubt it with every fiber of my being. And here comes crony number two. And Hector's beast moding continues. Not beast modding, no. Not god modding, no. Not god moding, no. It's beast mode. And another cheap shot on an archer. Behold my power. Oh. Did, did he just dodge me? No one dodges Hector, and lives, but you understand my point. Time to squish armor, dead, okay. And see Hector levels up already. I'm kind of trying to use somewhat SWAT tactics while going through here, because I know that if I don't, I'm doomed. By doomed, I mean as in it won't go as smoothly as I would like, and I prefer this to go as smoothly as possible. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at the thief and do massive damage! Poke you once, and poke you again. So the greatest thing about going through Lynn's path first, and that's why I did it for this LP, is you get to keep all of the levels from before. So, it's complete win. Just, there is no downside. Take the hand axe, wait for the archer to attack. Honestly, I can't believe that it's starting to look like I won't be able to complete this in one play. I was, I was honestly hoping, but there's too much dialogue at the opening part of this. Ooh, red gem. Red gem means money. Money is always good. How the heck... Is Relax. We'll get through the door and kill him eventually. He has no say in that. You may be wondering, why am I letting Hector's health dip that low? It's because he's a friggin'... Think of Hector as an axe-wielding knight. That's right, a knight wielding axes. That is pretty much exactly how I would describe him to other people. Squishy, squishy. Squishing people. Alright. Now that Hector has a Volnery of his own. Well, doesn't have a Volnery, does he? No, he doesn't. Mm. Give me one of yours. Oh, damn it. That's gonna. Okay, good. He didn't have a javelin. So, as the two are going through the rest of this level, we'll have them each use a Volnery, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as. My time runs out, and then I'll start it back up again so I can get more than one installment in tonight. Hopefully. Don't quote me. Okay. You may wonder why I'm sending him up here. Honestly, if you are wondering, you're stupid because it's obvious that there's an archer up there, but 
Excuse me a moment. <coughs> okay, sorry for sneezing on the interview. Usually don't. I usually try to avoid doing that. Um, make sure that's equipped. Right there. About to have these again. Oh well. Boom. Axe to the head. Oh god, I went way over my time. This is going to take forever to upload now. Crap. Oh well. See you in the next video. Uh, uh, you know what? No. In for a penny, in for a pound. I'm going to go for the full 15 minutes here. I usually try and go for 10 minutes because it'll ask for shorter upload time, but screw it. This time, this time only, I'm going to try going for the 15 minutes because I really don't want to. I don't want to overshoot it for nothing, you know? You're not the priest, Laos assassins, are you? You're too good, too professional. Nothing like those idiots over there. You've, need, you've no need to know the new Lord, Hector. Little, have you seen how Ricky is? Well, then again, you are kind of wide. Body will never be found. What are you going to do, bury him under a trash can? Not bury him in a dumpster. No, bury him under a dumpster. And squishy squishy. Forgive me, Lord. Nurgle. So who is Nurgle? We shall see. Hector leveled up again. He got three level ups. He's level four, and I don't remember him starting at level two, and I know he at least leveled up twice. Come Lord, we must fly. The castle guard must have heard all the noise. Matthew, you rogue. You knew this was going to happen all along, didn't you? What else could I do? Those assassins couldn't show themselves till you were alone. I suppose. Mark my words, Matthew, you're coming with me. From but from this point forward, you're no longer my brother spy. You're mine. You're my man now. Um <laughs> uh, let's not think about the implications of what was said there. Marquise, it's Hector, he's he's gone, isn't he? Y yes, my lord. We we'll gather our men now to give chase. Eh, let him go. Lord? <laughs> it's wrong, fool. Oh god. <laughs> it hurts. Are you well? I'm fine. It, it is past. There's no need for concern. You must not rely so much on physical strength alone. I have not let you sleep. You're endangering your health if you continue on. Yeah, I'll when I get it. Um, I'll speak to a doctor. Um, will that shut you up? Oh, and I want you to go get him. Of course I will. I'll guard him with my very body. And by body, I mean armor. And by armor, I mean win. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the opening of Let's Play Fire Emblem, The Ballad of Hector. And I went way over my usual time. Do not expect it on the next recording. Do not. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.